Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the FIFO introduction. Okay. So, um, for the FIFO, the first question is, what is FIFO? Okay. FIFO is a data structure. Uh, FIFO it means first in and first out. Okay. So uh, let's assume this is a FIFO. The data come in from this side and go out from this side. Okay. So for the FIFO, um, for the FIFO data write and the data read, read data and write data, we usually will have the write point and read point. Okay. So uh, at this moment, the FIFO is empty. You will see here, and there is no any data here, and the write point equals the read point. Okay. So assume we will have one data needed to write into the FIFO. We will write into the uh, write point position here and the right point will move to the next position okay so there is another data and right into the five and the, the right point move to next position and this moment if we need to read the data the read point will move to next one and the previous the current read point data will move out okay so like this this okay so um we have more data needed to uh, write into the FIFO we are like this five six seven okay for the eight so if we have this data want to write into the FIFO and the right point will go back to the head of the FIFO like this and the eight will write into this position okay and so at this moment if we read that out so the read point move to next one and the the two move out like this okay so have more data coming and the more data 10 okay so for these status so uh, this is called FIFO full. Okay, you will see all the data inside the FIFO. And the write point and the read point also point the same places. Okay. So this is the FIFO. Okay. So next question is why need the FIFO? Okay. The FIFO is very important for FPGA project. Okay, there is many pro, uh, many examples, many projects will use the FIFO. Here we give one examples. Let's say we have lots of sensor here. We will use I two C communicate with the FPGA. Okay, send the sensor data to FPGA. Okay, and another side we have one USB devices communicate with our computer PC by the uh, USB bus, and the USB devices communicate FPGA by the data bus. Okay. So for the sensor, I2C bus, 
is usually from 100k to 400k data rate. And for the USB is 480 microns to 5 g, which is very fast. Okay. And also we can design the database uh, with the uh, USB speed, the same speed, the same USB speed. Okay. The question is how we design the software to get all the sensor data as fast as possible okay so we can give uh, each sensor one five for q one five for q okay the sensor will send the data to the five for q in the fpga will rotate sequentially to get the data through the FIFO queue to the USB devices like this. Okay. So because this side the speed very high and this part this side the speed relatively low. So we can uh, get the get the data as fast as possible out of the firewall and make the sensor or the sensor work at the same time okay so uh, to achieve the best speed the best read sensor data speed okay because the sensor all work at the same time so this side will uh, achieve the best data rate okay okay and also we will not lose any data okay so so next question is single uh, signal interface for the 54 okay so assume this is the 54 block what kind of signal interface we will have okay uh, the FIFO will have the synchronous FIFO and the asynchronous FIFO okay so for the synchronous FIFO let's assume there is a devices we will write data into this FIFO okay so first things the devices will read the full signal okay to see the FIFO is full or not whether the FIFO is full or not if the FIFO queue is not full it will put the data on the bus and also it will send the write enable signal write enable signal tell the FIFO I have date to send to you okay so this is the right data side let's take a look at the read data side this is the read devices okay so these devices will read the empty signal from the 54 queue to see whether the 54 is empty or not if it is not empty it will send the read enable signal and the FIFO will put the data on the bus for the devices okay okay uh, the next next things for the synchronous FIFO will be clock okay for this FIFO only have one clock and also we will have one um, reset signal okay it's here reset signal so this is a synchronous FIFO for another FIFO is a synchronous FIFO so uh, for this kind of FIFO the clock is different the first thing it will have the right clock for the right devices 
the next thing it will have the read clock so the read devices okay because the uh, clock is different so uh, it will cause the uh, timing cross timing domain problem so the asynchronous FIFO is more complicated than the synchronous FIFO okay so this is the uh, basic idea basic knowledge for the Firefox okay so uh, next video we will discuss more about the asynchronous FIFO how to write the code how to analyze the uh, the logical the logical between uh, all the signals okay okay so that's it uh, this is Michael I hope you like it and uh, thank you for your watching see you next time